uh, yesterday I was very happy to see Roiro MP Kengara being booed in Wiru Stadium. Alikuwa naambia watu atuwapatie Ruto time at Ruto will change their life and people booed him. And if you are there waiting for Ruto to change your life, you are an idiot. And let me explain my case. When Kenyatta, Jomo Kenyatta took over the government from the colonialist, he took the best that we had in the country to form his cabinet. Fifteen members of the Kenyatta government were Alliance alumni. Those days, Alliance alumni. Two were from Mang, two were from Maseno, and the others had came outside the country. Kenyans who had gone outside the country for their studies. He took them in the cabinet so that when they speak, when they deliberate, they come with something that can take our country forward. That is the reason those days when other African countries were going down, maybe Kenya did not go down. And that's why we are here we are. Moy took over the government. Despite all his weaknesses as a president, despite all what he did for our country, Moy knew that the cabinet was his brain. He took the best. He took Akina Dr. Ouko, Akina Moy Kibaki, Akina renowned world economist Akina Onyonka, Akina Professor George Saitoti, such that whenever he goes to the cabinet, he can come with new ideas to take our country forward. We went to Kibaki government. Kibaki government, he didn't care if you supported him or what. He went for the best brain. He went for Mother Karua. He went for Mugisa Kitui, who was the General Secretary of Trade in the United Nations. He went for people like uh, Kiraito Murongi. He went for people like Akina George Saitoti. Best brain. So that whenever he goes to the cabinet, they can deliberate how to take our country forward. We came to Hurumugai Kenyatta. Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta even surprised Kenyans. He went to the brains that we didn't even know that existed in Kenya. People like Akina Dr. Matiangi. People like Akina Professor Magoha. May God bless his soul. People like Akina like Peter Munya. People like Akina Mushero. People like Amina Juma. Such that whenever he went to the cabinet, they could deliberate how to change our nation. That is the, that is the room that a country discussed. The next step of a nation is discussed. Ideas are discussed. How to spend our taxes are discussed. The next project is discussed. The cabinet. We came to Ruto. Mama yo. Ruto went for thugs. Name one cabinet secretary in Ruto government, apart from Professor Kindiki, who is not a thug in his own capacity. If it's academic qualification, others you don't even know if they went for high school. They have a diploma in what? People like Akin Aisha Jumwa, you can't tell even if he was in primary, he was in high school, what? People like Kinamohes Kuria, he's so obsessed with foreskins and penises. Eh? Who else is in that uh, cabinet, if I can remember? You can't even know, because they don't spy anything. Where is the Tupu? Then you are there thinking that they can discuss anything in that cabinet that can change this nation. You are a fool. That's why I'm telling Kenyans, the better we do away with this man called William Samoy Ruto, the better for us. Ruto did not take power to change Kenya. He took power to enrich himself. That's why he took thugs, such that when you see him, you may think he's a saint. Because everybody else around him is a thug. That's what I'm telling you. We have an agenda as a nation to take Ruto out because we don't have any other country except this one. Thank you.